Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Upfront and Personal with Women. We are here this afternoon to give our views on several topics, um, but the topic today is going to be, do you believe in love at first sight? My name is Karen Montgomery. I'm one of the hosts for, hostesses for today, and we have Angelina Blackman. I'm also one of the host, hostesses for today. And of course, you know who, who I am. I am Lois from the Lois and Lamar TV talk show. So we're going to give our opinion today if you believe in love at first sight. This is strictly our opinion from a women's view. Okay, ladies. Love at first sight. What exactly is love at first sight? Well, for me, I believe that it's just, it's, I believe that love and being in love is two different things. Love at first sight, I can see someone and I can love what they're wearing, I can love their personality, I can love their money, I can mm -hmm. love a, a lot of things about them, but I may not necessarily be in love with them. Um, do I believe in love at first sight? I don't believe it's love at first sight. I, I believe it's something that, that's just attracting you to them. One or two things or several things that attract. For instance, let's just say, I love Billy D. Williams. He doesn't know that, but I love him. But I love how he looks. I love his demeanor. I love certain aspects about him, but I'm not in love with him. So for me, it, it, that makes a difference. But I would think that would be just a glance at love, the way you just uh, put that example out there about Billy D. Love at first sight, oh, that energy. Woo, you have that energy when you see that guy, you want to be with him all the time. You can't take your eyes off of him. You can't stop thinking about him. That's that love at first sight. You can't sleep at night because he's constantly on your mind, you know? Being in love is different, but that love at first sight gives you a certain energy that you just can't get rid of. But is that love at first sight or is that just lust? Because sometimes a woman can have them feelings, but it's more of a lust thing. Well, at this point, Miss Angela, I'm going to say that's how, if you want to characterize it that way, that's fine. But in my research, you know, lust don't speak on love until she researched. Okay. And this is what uh, some of the stuff that was said when I researched love at first sight. Okay. It talked about the high energy and it, and it talked about how you couldn't take your eyes off of that person and, and how you always wanted to be around them and, and how you couldn't sleep at night because you always thought about them. I would look at lust in a different way from my pers perspective. So, but you know. couldn't it, and, and, and even in saying that, isn't it therefore something that's drawing you to them? Yes, that their, energy. Their, their their energy. That energy. And that energy could possibly be this? Not could it possibly it could, be Yeah, I guess it could be, but I mean, you got a baritone. Say that guy got that baritone voice, girl, that he <laughs> come up to. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Right. And gentlemen, he's a gentleman. He's not being out of the way with you. He's been a complete gentleman. And before the night is over, he may say to you, uh, may I take you out to dinner? You know, uh, maybe you may exchange phone numbers and you may talk and get to know each other better. That to me is not being lustful. Now, if he don't present himself as a gentleman, then you know, we have to take him to the next level. But is that being loved too? I, th I, think I, think everybody, I think everybody has um, their own interpretation of it because me never experience, experiencing the love at first sight, I have experienced lust at first sight where I have thought about that person and, and wanted to be with that person and all the traits of what you said but I didn't love that person. I just, I just wanted the physical, the physicalness. I just wanted, I, you know. So yeah, I thought about that person. I thought about oh, what he was wearing, his cologne, or this and that. But it was for my experience, it wasn't love at first sight. So that's what I'm saying to for me, and I'm just speaking about me. 
it wasn't love at first sight. It was, it was lust, lust at first sight. Yeah. So everybody has their own interpretation of maybe what love at first sight may be. Um, that's just mine. I have never experienced like being in love, saying, I love that man. I just met you 10 minutes ago, but I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you. I've just never, you know, and then, if, and then I think if I did feel that, is something wrong with me? Is something wrong with me for saying that I love somebody after this matter for 30 minutes? No. No, no I love all people. I know, I'm not talking I'm about that type of love. I'm two seconds to say I love you. But there's but a difference you don't love. mean it like in a loving way. But no, but, what, but we're not talking about that type of love. We're talking about the love that I will have for a man. In love no. with him. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So if I was to go and say, I love somebody, and I just met that person, and we you know, had good conversation and everything like that, what, 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 what does that make me? If, if after 30 minutes I said, damn, I love you. That's OK, but I, you know. So that would be love well, at first. I would, I would have a question, like, like, I love like him. Right, yeah. but so that's what I'm saying. So yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. All right, I right. was married to a man for 30 plus years. Love at first sight. Love very the first day. I dated a guy for two years. Love at first sight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you I've never experienced that. That's what I'm saying. You have experienced I, I, that. I've never, never, I've never experienced that. I, I have, have learned something sight. about them at first sight. But and not, he stayed at his no. house, and I stayed at my house. And every time you phone like, oh, I was going to see it. It's so, so love at first. So time. you're saying the very day, the very first day you met that individual, you would you it was you love. Connection you could love. you could feel it. There's something that happens on the inside of you, and you can feel it that you two are going to connect in a special way, even when you try to pull back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now with my husband, I tried to pull back. I didn't like him. Be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like him, but he chased me down. Okay. He chased me so hard, I ended up in the hospital in a coma. Wow. And every day, that man came to that hospital, leaned over that hospital bed, and he prayed, and he cried over me. Wow. And I said, well, I guess this is the man right. God wants right. me to have, you know? Yeah. But and so was it love at first sight, or love for what he was doing for you? Or what well, I think, uh, as far as me giving in, it's the way that he carried himself. The way he pursued right. you. With me. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the love at first part, at first sight, I think, was more for him. Because it was like a bad thing. A, a friend of mine had, had just got murdered. And he worked for a police department. Okay. And he was in my uncle's nightclub. And I was the waitress. Okay. Well, I never got the drinks because I had gotten the bad news. Right. about my friend, so my right. sister had to come up behind the bar and serve the drinks while he had five girls for him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, none of it faced me. I just sat there and shot. So he took the five girls home, and he came back and sat and talked with me, offered his condolences, and it, it just but went, we went from there. Right. So I think it was love at first sight for him. I wasn't paying my mind. Right. Right. But then things happened in my life that changed all of that. So, so once it, to love right, right. So to once love again, each other. that wasn't love at first sight on Not you. For me. Exactly. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So his love at first sight was there, but yours wasn't. Yeah. It took time it took for time. you for you to get that love feeling. Yes. Because see me, I'm a type of person that I before I can say I love you or or anything, or even have that that order of chills or that, you know, feel like I'm a little girl and hype, you know, at the candy store. I have to know you and I have to um, make sure that we connect in that way. Okay. So me, for, like I said, me meeting you the first day and, and us talking, having good conversation, then yeah, I can get that feeling, but it's not going to be the same feeling. But when I met you, it was love at first sight. But we're not talking about that but love. We're talking about love at first sight. Is there such a thing as love at first sight? Okay. Is that not the topic? Well, you can, you can, and you can have that kind right. of love. Right. Because just think when your children are born. Right. That's love at first sight. You love them right. at first sight, no matter what. So you know, you actually, well, <laughs> most people do. <laughs> well, and, 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 most and, people and, should. But they don't. They that should. Is, that is true. <laughs> so okay. So but what? So they what? Have that, they have that type of love. Like right. you said, you yeah. met Angelina and you loved her at first sight. 
Right. And but it's like it's two different types, types of love. love at first sight. Right. There's the love at first sight, I guess between a man and a woman. Right. And then there's love at first sight because I just love that person. Right. Or I, I love who they are. Like I said, I love who they are, I love what they wear, I love right. what they do, I love what they say, I love their voice. I, I just love everything about them. Yeah. Right. Right. That's and, and I understand. So so then we're talking about two different types of love. We're talking mm -hmm. about the love at first sight with a man mm -hmm. and a love at first sight with a person. Right. This this the opposite. This, this the same sex or it could be the opposite sex. Because yes, at first love at first sight, mm -hmm. love at first sight. It's because of the connection and the bond we had. Right. There was something so there was there. something there mm -hmm. that grew that 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 day exactly. that I was like. Wow, she's good people. She's for right. real. She's good people. She's for real. So that love, and, and, and that's why we have the connection that we have mm -hmm. now because of the love that we all have for each other right. the first day. Because if we did not have that love that first day, we would not be sitting right here together. You resemble my family. Okay. And you got that punching voice you know when you talk you got that that punching voice <laughs> and a lot of them have that same thing about them mm -hmm. that's why i loved him when i first met her but i do have some fear in me with her Where do I but, but this, this, I'm, 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 i walk softly around because i don't know when she's going to start punching oh, you know so anyway <laughs> 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 yeah, you let's get back on the okay, right top you love at first sight but it is possible Okay. It is possible. Like I said, I've never experienced that, but I, I'm glad to know that that is, that it's out there. So that some people that I've heard a lot of people say, mm -hmm. I fell in love with her for a sight. I fell in love with him. So now I know that it's possible that it can happen. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. you know, that just assures me, like, man, you haven't been through, you know, maybe you'll get yeah. there one day. Just have you know? met that person. Right. <laughs> but, but I don't know. Yeah, right. You, but maybe I'll never meet that person I'm going to fall in love with at first sight. I'm good where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? But never to have somebody that's, oh, what? Okay. I don't think uh, that no. you would ever fall in anyone love at first sight because you got to let that guard down. Your guard is way up there. You know, it you is. Let that guard down, it is. And it would be very difficult. He may fall in love with you at first sight, but it will be difficult for you <laughs> to fall in love with him at first yeah. sight. Yeah, you it know? takes it takes a minute for me. It it does. It it takes <laughs> it definitely takes a minute for me to get them to, to, to bring down that barrier, that wall a little bit. It takes a minute. Right. No matter how nice you are, no matter how um how you talk to me, no matter, you know, you can treat me like a, a queen, but if I, in the back of my head, I'm always thinking, you still have those things I'm going to be hurt. Before. I'm going to yeah. be hurt, or am I going to have to hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Either one. <laughs> so I don't think love at first sight's going to happen for me, and it's cool if you it don't. You don't know what your future may happen. It, it, it may, I mean, it may happen, it but may you not. Know, you can't so. take what you experience Into, in your past. And I don't. And, I don't. And apply it to what's going on in your life. Do I, I tell people all the time, stop looking in the rear view. Oh yeah, mirror. definitely. You know, right. We have to look ahead okay. and see what's mm -hmm. ahead of us. All the time. Because there was some good stuff back there and there was some bad stuff. Right. But we don't want to take none right. of that forward with us, you know, so, so leave it back there. And that's exactly what I do in all relationships or anything. Friendships, not just fr not just relationships, but friendships. I try not to bring on my baggage, my luggage. I try to move forward because that's not going to that's right. not that's not a healthy relationship. Right. Love at first sight, love it not first sight. Whatever the situation may be, it's not going to be a healthy relationship. If yeah, anybody right. brings in any type of baggage, it's not going to be good. So it's oh, so yes, don't bring it in. Leave that you know at the airport. Just leave it there. Well, um, that was it. That was really good to get all these opinions and yeah, to know well. that some have experienced it and some haven't. And I some have but yet to. And some, some have yet, yet to. Yeah. So yeah. we can always say that we're looking forward to doing it. If you're looking forward to doing it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm okay with 
we are no men. Parts are right. But if it happens, it happens. At least it happens. Happens. Yeah, we never yeah. know what, right. what what tomorrow may hold. Right. 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 I can sit here and talk that junk about I'm good, and I may walk out that door and like, wow, yes, this right. is that dude, right? Yes. But I, I'm not a dude chaser, you know. He's gonna have to turn around the corner right. and come back and chase laws because because mm -hmm. I'm old school. I'm not gonna. Do but that. you know what? <laughs> and, and, and sometimes, and I hear you on that. I'm not gonna do it. Never say you're not. I've been saying it for 11 years. Okay, but I that 12 year it may change your mind. No, it ain't. Boy. You, got a <laughs> you got a lot of years and you got a whole lot. Listen, never know. And I, said, and I don't think it's considered chasing yeah. because I don't think it would be considered chasing. I just think it would be considered being interested. I would I'm not. Let him I'm know not. That I'm interested. You don't have to let them know. You just go around the corner and just see if your eyes meet. Oh Lord. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, I'm gonna be going down the corner making sure my eyes don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well yeah, ladies, I thank you so much for inviting me to come today and to sit on your, your show and it's it's been very interesting. It's been very interesting. It's a topic that could go on yes. and on and on and I don't <laughs> think no two people will ever agree on it right. but I have there's no right and there's no, there's no wrong, right, right. There's no wrong. It's, it's just an opinion of, of a woman's mm -hmm. film right. and I, I do thank you for having me on your show thank today you and, thank you and I wish you I wish you all the very best thank you the very yeah. best as you as you go forward with upfront and personal with women thank you thank you yeah. Um, so this would be this is the ending of this show right here. I want to thank Karen. I want to thank um, Christine, and see you next time. Have a blessed day.